Hello everyone, it's Pavel again with a, a C-sharp exercise from the book uh, Visual C-sharp How to Program, exercise 14 from chapter 8, Variable Length Argument List. Now, uh, what we are going to be doing is actually fairly simple, even though it may be a little confusing at first. We are going to write an app that calculates the product of a series of integers that are passed to the method to the method product using a variable length argument list. And we will test, of course, several calls, each with different number of arguments. So basically what we are going to be doing, we're going to have one function that will accept variable uh, number of arguments. Well, let's say one, two, three, four, you know, and it will be able to process uh, the arguments correctly, obviously, and uh, return a, a product of the uh, like a calculation of the of the numbers uh, so I'm going to just enter a uh, few uh, few integers this will be my test numbers basically integer number 2 equals 20 there's nothing special about this these are simply like I said I'm going to test whether things work uh, with these numbers uh, yeah 5 is enough 3 and four and five and I will change these to 30 40 and 50 so basically we have five integers each with different uh, value now I'm going to do the the function and uh, it's going to be static because I'm doing it all within the class program with the static void uh, main you know if I don't make it static I won't be able to you know, call the or pass the arguments to the function from main because static function only use uh, you know static uh, calls. So um, I got a public static and it will return integer. It will return the calculation, the result of the calculation. I'll call it product because that's what I want us to do. And now, in order to accept variety or variable uh, number of arguments. We, I use the keyword params and of course it's going to be they will be all passed to an array of integers and I'll call the, the array numbers so we will pass a number and the number will be passed or added to the array of numbers and if I uh, and the fact that we have the keyword params here allows us to enter different uh, different numbers like a, a different uh, number of arguments uh, all right so I will do our total it, that's gonna hold the result of the calculation and uh, since it's an array that we are you know performing the calculation from uh, so I'm going to use for each uh, variable in in numbers that's the array that will hold all those numbers that we pass into it as arguments and over here our total plus equals n in other words we will add each of those values together and over here we will simply return them we will return the total now how do we use these well I'm going to do five different calls for this function and each of those calls will pass different uh, number of parameters in it. So uh, I will do it all within a write statement, console that write line statements, and format it somehow like sum of, and uh, I will do zero and one uh, is, and that's going to be the result too. So now, what what is it that I'm I'm going to pass for zero and one? I will do ten and twenty, like a you know number one and number two. So num one, num two. But as for the over here is the result. It, it's the placeholder for the result, and the result is basically calling this uh, function. All right. So uh, all I have to do is call the function, which is called product and pass the number one num1 and num2 
two to it. And it doesn't protest. It doesn't ask, you know, how many parameters over here. I'm passing two of them. So it will simply return uh, 10. I mean, I'm, passi I'm passing 10 and 20. And it will, so it will return 30, 10 plus 20. Now, let's, I will copy paste this over here because, and I will add and uh, two, and I, I will pass three parameters num1, num2, and num3. And uh, I will pass all three of them into the function. So again, I'm calling the same function, but now with three parameters. Over here it was two and it was three. And it will know that, you know, uh, how many, f it will add them to the array. It doesn't matter how many I'm uh, passing, it will simply add each of them into the array and perform the calculations correctly. So that's uh, two of them, this is three, that will be four and uh, maybe five. So over here, uh, sum of uh, one, two, and over here, I will do and three is four. And over here I will pass uh, four parameters. So I will do number four and I will pass it to the function number four, like that. And finally over here, uh, and three and four is five. So over here I will pass all five of those numbers. So four and five and over here I will simply pass them into the function as parameters. See it doesn't tell me like what it is expecting an array of numbers. It doesn't ask how many or anything like that because we have the variable uh, number of arguments and num5. Okay, so uh, that's really all. Uh, let me just do console.readline to pause the screen so we can read it. And now when I run it, I will get five different results with, with uh, you know, I mean four because I'm calling it four times. So the sum of 10 and 20 is 30, 10 and 20 and 30 is 60, 10, 20, 30 and 40 is 100. And finally 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50 is 150. So it took each of those arguments and it performed this calculation correctly, no matter how many arguments I passed into this uh, function. That, that's what the word params and the integer array means. That basically it allows us to pass variable number of arguments into the function. So instead of having a function to, uh, to calculate you know each of these separately I, I can just use one function for all of them so that's was that's really all this exercise is asking for so uh, uh, this is a little you know might be a little tricky at first but it's uh, actually very helpful like I said you have one function and it handles multiple calls with multiple uh, number of arguments so that's very convenient all right, so I hope it was helpful and I will see you next time. Take care.